the star field. Last video, we finished up the main mission, Entangled, and boy, that's pretty entangled, all right. That was a kind of a messy thing. It was interesting, but messy. Um, we don't currently have anything hooked up here at Neon because I revamped the Razor Leaf again. We're going to look at that in just a second while I go on a rant about building ships, but not too much of a rant. I mean, it, it's interesting. I find a... It's probably more complicated. Well, I wouldn't say more complicated, but... Than building a outpost. In that you kind of got to travel all over the frickin' game universe to all of these ship guys. Your ship services. Guys. To get different parts. It's just crazy. It's just everything. There's parts all over the place. Which, you know, I mean, I, I guess. But it's very time consuming. When I watch people do this, there's people that have built some really cool, really cool ships. And it could take, you know, hours upon hours flying all over the place, traveling, fast traveling all over the place to get what you need. And I did not really do that. I just kind of put together... Let's take a look at the outside of it. It's not any prettier. It's a little bit... more streamlined than what it was. Still pretty ugly, though. Pretty big, pretty ugly. My cargo capacity... hasn't changed. I'm still at 1,400... 1,700 cargo capacity. Still went up a little bit. This is it here. This is the new... I'm not even going to say improved. It's just new. <laughs> I don't know if it's improved or not. Let's go look at it in the ship builder. I'm going to show you what I did. Then we'll go inside for a tour. We'll talk to the man. We have a few things to do. Andresia popped up again. She wants to talk. And there's somebody in here that wants to talk to me. Raphael? Oh! Yeah, that's the guy that we saved. We need to go talk to him. He's at uh, New Atlantis, I believe, right? Let's look. Yeah, he's here. We, can, we need to do that. We need to go talk to him. We can recruit him, I guess, but we don't need another recruit. But we do need another recruit. I'm going to retire Vasco. There's a recruit on Cheyenne in Aquila City that will up our shield systems. Right now, Vasco's at the two, and there's a guy, Omar something in Aquila City that has shield systems at four now Vasco has EM weapon systems but you know I'm gonna show you I got rid of the EM weapons I don't have those anymore and uh, what else has he got there Neutronic Fusion I don't know what that is and while we're in here I do want to see what even Andresia is not, not helping much well she has particle beams but not particle beam systems that's particle beam weapons an energy weapon systems, which I don't have any more of those either. I took those off. Barrett is kind of... He's good. Particle beam system, weapon systems, and Starship Engineering. So he's good for the ship. And, and he cooks, I guess. Gastronomy. I don't know. Shit. <clears throat> Who is this? Sorry, in Saigon. Oh, oh, that's what's her name, yeah. And we have Amelia Earhart, which she would be good to have for piloting, but we don't have a pilot. We got Sam, he would be good for piloting too, but I can only have three crew members because I don't have anything. I don't have enough skill points to get more than three members. Maybe I will, I don't know if it's worth it or not. 
But we're going to get this guy on Cheyenne at Aquila City to improve our shield systems. And I'm just going to retire Vasco, and Vasco won't be standing outside the door every time you land in a hostile area. He'll be gone. Send him back to uh, whatchamacallit. So, let's go look at the ship. Real quick, show you what I do with that. I did most of it at Anything I can help you with? Hey, New Atlantis. What can I do for you? Sure. How about it? I was gonna start from scratch with another ship, but you know I already had this one kind of the way I wanted. I mean, right now our mass is 1760, which is not bad. We can still have a 30 light year jump. I have a 1600 shield. I haven't improved a shield at all yet. Which is a pretty good shield. I don't know what it is, if it's my level or if I haven't found one yet, or maybe there's a skill that I've got to have to give me higher shields. But that is the highest shield that I could find in my roamings. I mean, I didn't roam all over the place looking for a better shield, but. So. It cost me some money. I had 1.3 million, so we're down a little bit now. <laughs> How much? Let's go into the ship builder. So what I did, I added these habs to the outside. This is Stroud Eklund I was in, Stroud Eklund at Neon. Yeah, that was where I added quite a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I wasn't in Neon last. It was Stroud Eklund. And I like how they got their little name on the side of all their parts. So I now have a computer core. And a put another uh, two by all in one berth. So we have two by all in one berth and a two by one computer core. Put some collies on it to kind of make it look a little nicer and cooler, like everybody does. Which you know, like I said, I don't know if it looks any cooler or not. These look a little weird because they're. They're flat in the front instead of aerodynamic, but you know, there's no air in space anyway, so who cares? Changed out all the landing gear. So these have four of these now. With this little filler in between. My cargo hold. Man, I'm not really good with this thing. It's really tough with sticks, controllers. Here's my cargo. So this is a 1400, and I guess the base of the ship is 300, so I have 1700. This is still down here. My uh, docker is still down here. I did not change my uh, landing bay. Didn't really change. We'll go into the inside and look at it in a minute. I changed out my EM weapons for these babies here. Get it? Proton beams. Because they have the same fire rate and they're pretty good. They do pretty good damage. They have a 3,000 range, and they have the same fire rate as all my other weapons. Now, whether I can fire three weapons at a time or not with a controller is going to be something to see, because it's really, it's like, it's like a contortionist move on a controller to fire your third, to fire your third weapons. You got to hit the Y button, so if you're hitting your other fire buttons and the Y button, it's going to be, I don't know, we're going to test it out. So that's what I added. I added these weapons here. I got rid of my EM weapons, and I added... Where are they? Not the obliterators. We already had the obliterators. These, these here. That's right. These here. They have a power, max power of four, so I can put three of those on. And I put those on these shrouds right here. That was another reason I put these shrouds out here, so I could add a couple more weapon mounts. Nothing else back here has changed. I still got the same engines, same grav drive, same reactor. Put a couple of windows in the new habs, and you'll see that when I get when we get inside. But the habs really don't—I mean, they don't add a whole lot to it. There's, you know, it's just form over function more than anything. So that's the new razor leaf. Try to keep it the same color. Painting them is a little weird, but and the um, it's kind of strange, and I don't know what the. Maybe I had to flip that? I have no idea what the criteria is for which 
doors open up on the halves, and maybe it's the, I will see when we get to the inside, but for some reason this hab has an entrance here at the front of it, and then this hab, the entrance is at the back, and I, I don't know why, we'll see when we get inside, maybe there's a reason for that, because this hab here, well, this is the cat, well, we got this, yeah, I don't know why, the one down below is the, another control station there, Let's go inside and look at it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. That guy's got a boring job, doesn't he? Yeah, this video isn't going to be much. We're not going to... We may go into a little bit of battle at the end of it to test out the... the new ship. Basketball buddy, you're going to go away. Sorry. Let's see if I get any more stuff. And then I had to unload all the junk that came with remodeling your ship. It's crazy. And I also have had a lot of crashes going into this ship. I don't know why. Let's see what happens now. <clears throat> see, it's very strange. I, I don't know what the problem is with the ship. We're... It almost looks like it's crashed. Oh, there it is. It came back. Okay. Alright, so this is all the same. This hasn't changed. This is the captain's quarters. This hasn't mm -hmm. changed. The bridge hasn't we changed. Yeah, we something? gotta talk to Andresia wants to talk. We'll give it her in a minute. So you go back here. This is still the docker here. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe because this ladder is here. It wouldn't put a doorway here. That's possible. Well, we have a doorway here. This is the computer control. You know, nothing, nothing special, just the space, taking up space. We got some lockers in here. I have a storage box over here. Somewhere I just saw it. There it is. I stuck a window here. I feel we need some windows. Gotta have some windows. Portholes, they call them, I guess. A succulent. We have a plant, you know, something to regenerate and just stack up inside the place. Then we go this way. Yeah, there's dumbbells already thrown around all over. Oh, this crap's already starting to spawn. This is just another... Another crew cab here. So we have now four crew beds in here. Again, nothing fancy. I was going to put a window here, but then that would take this out. So we le I left it there, left it in the back. Um... Can't, can't access that box. And then we'll go upstairs. The upstairs hasn't changed. I just moved. Let me see. The upstairs is the same as it was. There's a hab. Another two by berth up there. There's Vasco. All of a sudden he's back. Eh? Okay, so we got into the, this. hasn't changed. We still got two windows here. And a two by berth here. So we just have four beds in the ship now. Four crew beds. Which I don't know why they just don't make those beds too, but it's kind of weird. So that's the new ship. Let's go talk to Andrej to see what she wants. And then we're going to go talk to the guy we saved in the Entangled storyline. He's at New Atlantis. Where's she? Here she is. Girl, ah, what do you want? I never mind seeing. What All right, let's talk about it. Let's suck some so face, man. We finally have all the answers. Oh, that's right, because I completed and that mission. Yet here I stand, feeling like I understand even less than I did before. So this everybody's going to want to talk, talk, probably. of the unity of a, a multiverse? Dead friends appearing again? Oh, yeah. It is all simply too much. That reminds me. I did an online search for crew members just to see what each you know who you could recruit and what they brought to the table and everybody said Sarah Morgan is one of the best you can have because she brings an extra crew slot she gives you an extra crew slot and some of the stuff that she's capable of mostly the extra crew slot to the ship so I'm thinking okay she's the best there is she's one of the best there are and the game killed her off it's like and I know there's all kinds of ways you could save her, and it's just all this bullshit. It's just really weird. I don't know. All right, the artifacts, the powers, the starborn—it seems to I add up. I hope I have not offended. 
Oh, well, shut up. Hold on a second. I'm thinking. There's only one way to prove it further. It's true. Someone has to enter the Unity. Does it? Let's just go with this one. Perhaps you find all this satisfactory, but... Oh, I'm great. She didn't I like that not. one. We must take the word of a murderer and Who's follow murderer? him into the Unity? What yes. if it does nothing the Starborn have claimed? Everything about the Great Serpent makes sense to you, right? No, no, no. We don't want to go there. She doesn't like that. They have no reason to lie to us at this point. After meeting with the Starborn, I believe them. With all that we've seen, all that we've been through, this just feels true. I have no reason... They have no reason to lie to us at this point. Let's go with this one. <laughs> she doesn't like anything I say. And now they just give up? They killed Sarah to stop us from getting the artifacts. If I know. they would back down now, then what was the point? What does that death mean? Why put us through any of this? All right, she's getting pissy, and I'm getting pissy myself. I'm starting. It's okay to be scared. This is a huge leap. I have to see where this leads, where the what the unity is. We need to finish what we started. There's too much at stake. I really want to go through this. I need your support. No, Let's do that. There we go. And I want to be there for you, but, but this is such an immense decision. Even if everything the Starborn have said is true, if you pass into this unity and come out in in some other universe, look at who they are, at what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know. But are nothing like them. Are you you don't know that. Are you that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? But I have cool powers. This is what exploring is really about. Taking risks, venturing into the unknown. I understand what you're saying. This is all just theory until we have the artifacts. Let's focus on that first. This is happening, so you better get on board. Let's do this. Yes, I know. I can see it in your eyes. For your sake, I will try not to imagine the worst. Focus oh, on the you. positives instead. But you must understand that I do not find this easy. We hmm. should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there's no time to waste. All right. Mission status activities. All right, let's go put the other guy in. We'll go talk to him. Except first I'm going to recruit this other guy. We'll hook him up. But let's go to Cheyenne. Let's go in space first. Let's just launch from here. I don't want to fast travel. I want to kind of launch. See if we run into any enemies. Real curious. Yeah, some people really, I mean, they really go crazy with building ships, which is very cool. <laughs> some of them are very cool. I don't have that great of an imagination. I see what my systems are. Not too bad. Jump for that tower. Lightning, huh? Systems hooked back up. Orbit put my weapons. Locked. You just look at that. All right, so we have new weapons. Kind of even them out a little bit here. We'll see how it works. I might end up just putting, take a little bit out of the shield. What can we do down? We take the shield down just a little bit. These are my more powerful weapons. These are the ones I'm going to be able to fire. You don't have them full up, they take a little bit longer to come back up, don't they? They take a little longer to regenerate. That's all three weapons. Yeah. 
That's the problem with having three weapons on here. So it might still be better to do this. That's what we want to do is we want to go recruit somebody first. Down in the Cheyenne system. Up in the Cheyenne system. They're there. Aquila City. sun over here. So what I need to do maybe, and I have a couple skill points, maybe I need to start putting skill points into particle beam weapons. Let's look at that real quick. I have a couple skill points. And what would that be under? Science? Maybe tech. Particle beam weapon systems. Let's does this say skip? Ship particle beam weapons do 10% more damage and targeting mode cost is reduced by 10%. Twenty percent more damage. So this is a damage thing, basically. What else do we got weapon-wise? Robotics, Starship Engineering. That makes it easy. Here we go. Missile weapon systems. I don't have any missiles. Automatic weapon systems. Let's see what that does. Automatic weapon systems do 10% more damage and reduce all targeting mode costs. Automated ship weapons do 20% more damage and reduce all targeting mode costs. So I don't have any really automated ones. I think the automated ones are turrets. Yeah, turret weapons are known for their easy to use auto autonomous nature, but they can be made even deadlier with some specific technical adjustments. I gotta look into turrets. I'm not sure how those work. It says they're automated. Hmm. That may be something to look into. I don't know. Boost assault training. What is this? Nearby enemies take damage when you boost. Okay. Robotics, particle beam weapon systems. I might end up going here. Payloads. Shield systems. Energy weapon systems. Starship engineering. This is all about your ship being repaired faster. All systems repair 10% faster, which is a cool thing too. Alright, let's uh, I'll keep that in mind. Let's see if we can find this guy. Hopefully he's an all-nighter. He's hanging out at the bar. Having a good one? Uh, this bar? 
The hitching post. He's in here somewhere. Let's see. Is that him? That's not him. Maybe he's not here. I don't know. If he's not here, then we'll just wait for him to show. Here he is. The hitching post. Let's get our. Uh, we can um, persuade him. I've got this on my persuade apparel. Let's take some. Was it Hippolyta? Because we get him cheap. Might as well get him cheap. Wait a minute, I have some wine too. Let's try to wine. Didn't I pick up some wine? <laughs> Since I'm here. No, that's the. Uh, when we get to the out. Or uh, whatchamacallit, we'll pick up some wine. But see, that's, it's hard to find anything in here. Red Trench. Cocktail. I know I picked up... There it is. This gives you 9% persuasion for 5 minutes. Let's do that. Hey, how's it going? Here we go. Talk to him. Come on. Man, these prompts are a bitch. I don't want to sit in the chair. Ah! Can I get him a prompt outside here? Let's see. There he is. Hello there. It's been a long time since I saw a new face at the hitching huh? post. Did you just come from the spaceport? Systems? Starship Engineering. I just flew in on my ship. Aye, Captain. I am not surprised. You have the look of a Starfarer. Do you employ a crew? I'd be happy to offer you my services as a mechanic. I have experience working on traveling ships. Yeah, I don't think that'll do us any good because I think Barrett's got that covered. I'd like to take you up on that offer. Tell me more about your skills as a mechanic. I have worked with ships all my life. So I am familiar with most of their systems. I am especially good at fixing impact damage from combat or space debris. I also specialize in repairing shields. I think they're the most important part of a ship. I've seen firsthand how bad it can be if they fail. Okay, all right. Well, what do you think pursuit you bring? I am not a greedy man, but I have a family to provide for. Can you offer a fair salary? Uh we work for any less. Are you asking me for a discount? Yes, I am. Yes, I hope so. For you, I would consider a discount. Of course you would. I am glad you understand the position I am in here. I will make this work, but I won't accept any less. I accept. Thank you for the offer. It has been a long time since I left Aquila Space. I have missed working in the space lanes. Alright, so... It's gonna say I can't, because I'm full, right? Right, so let's do this. Let's dismiss... Vasco. Unassigned. Yes, unassigned Vasco. And we're gonna assign... Not Amelia, where's he at? I seen. Assign him to the razor leaf. Alright, so yeah, ship engineering. Yeah, see Vasco's gonna I mean um Barrett's gonna trump his engineering skills. Cause he has four over his one, but his shield systems is three. Vasco's was two. I believe it was two. I thought this guy had four. We might find somebody better. I don't know, we'll see. So right now. I need to we tell my over. family I am leaving Aquila City. Then I'll head to my post. All right, good work. Thanks, dude. All right, so we got that. We got him hooked up. We'll see how that helps us. If it does, I don't know. So now we want to head to... We want to go speak to Raphael. See how he's feeling, man. He went through some shit. He's 
He's recruitable too, but I don't know what he brings to the table. Let's see what you have to get. What skill do you have to get? It must be social skill, right? Social. To recruit more crew members down here somewhere. This is it. Ship command. You can now have up to four active crew members. Okay. But that's way down the bottom. How many... I need nine more skill points to get to that. I only have two. And who knows what's up here. See if there's anything up here that's worth it. Intimidation. What's this one? This is manipulation. Deception. So, there's all this stuff which I've got. Oh, I know what I wanted to upgrade. I wanted to upgrade lock picking. Or, what, what is it? Yeah, this one. This one? Commerce, that's not it. The lock picking skill. Just get the last level of that. Is this it? Nope. Security. Oh wait, we got two more levels to go here. I can get one here. Because that might help us. Well, I don't know. Master level locks. And four attempts can be banked. Still not sure I want to get that. I mean, I think that's a wasted skill point right, right now. I got other, I got other needs. Armor penetration. We've done this, haven't we? What is this? By identifying gaps or weak points in body armor, an attacker can often. Gain a tactical advantage in combat. Attacks ignore 30% of a target's armor. Ha! Huh. That could be good. Hmm, that could be good too. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Still learning these skill trees. They're just pretty crazy. Social. I don't need any social skills. I'm not anti-social. Physical. Cellular. Cellular regeneration. So this makes your health regenerate faster, eh? Slightly increases the chance to recover from injuries naturally. Okay. Decontamination. Martial arts. This is pretty far down. Rejuvenation. This looks like health stuff. Using both ancient medication techniques and a rely developed breathing exercises, it's possible for one to actually trigger their bodies naturally. He slowly regenerate health outside of combat. Okay. More quickly. Okay, that's when you're not in combat, so. Seems like I'm always in combat. Environmental energy weapon dissipation. Energy. Weapon energy damage is reduced, okay. Yeah, I think maybe damage is a good thing to get rid of. Pain tolerance, this is probably a good one. Physical damage is reduced by 5%. Yeah, not much though. Boxing, okay. This is social. Don't really need any social skills. Ship command is that's the social skill I want, but I have to get a whole bunch of these before I can get that. So it's not happening. Lasers. We should start putting. I have laser weapons now. And I have my shotgun weapons. Laser weapons. Laser and. We should start putting some in energy weapons. Of 
let's do that. And maybe a shotgun, but the shotgun is just my that's just my basic grenade launcher, really. Dueling. Attacks with melee weapons, what is this? Dueling. Critical attacks with melee weapons, okay, so I'm not gonna do that, but this sounds interesting. Personal laser weapons are in widespread use. Specialized training can great laser weapons do 10% more damage. I'm thinking, yeah. Let's just check my weapons. I think those are both laser weapons that I've got that I really like. Like, uh, this. This is a laser weapon. No, 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 no. That's the, what is that? That's a shotgun. Why do I have that? That was the one they gave me, the bug killer. I didn't like it. Gotta get rid of that. This is my shotgun of choice. This is a laser weapon, right? Yeah, because it uses... It doesn't. This is a particle beam pistol, so that's different from laser, I believe. Where's my laser weapon? Here it is. If we have this, my laser rifle. So particle beam is different, I think. I don't think that comes under the category of lasers. This uses laser ammo. Let's see if there's a particle beam. Skill. Combat. Lasers. Shotgun. Ballistics. Particle beam weapons. Okay, so good. We have that one, and we have this one. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it right now. I have two, two perk points. We can put one here. Gotta kill 50 guys with the pistol, and one here, the laser weapon. Gotta kill 20 people with the laser weapon. Okay, okay. We're upping our offensive capabilities. Never ever go outside the city walls after Sunday. Alright, so now let's do a quick save. I'm not gonna get on the ship because who knows what's gonna happen. The game is getting real janky, I don't know why. Let's just go. Is that Amelia? No. I really would like to find her. Alright, so let's go do this. We're gonna go talk to Rafael. Dr. Raphael. Where's he at, I wonder? Here, he's over here somewhere. usually want to come in here so they got to go somewhere else let's check the mission board over here too let's go get us a mission to take down a ship where is he at I don't see the dot in here anywhere there it is there's a mission board right up here let's go check this out where's he at there's probably got to be something up here to take out a ship it's not going to be very High level ship, but what do we got? Frozen meat? Transport? Nothing. I'm not doing transport. Ah! Survey? No more surveying planets. That ain't happening either. Okay. We'll find another mission board. We'll get us a ship to go blast. Or we could just go to. I think Serpentis is the place where all the ships are at, so. See, where's he at? What is this here? Is this a bar? Or oh, the viewport? Alright, dude. What's going on, man? How you feeling? It's good to see you again. 
I was wondering if you were going to stop by. Thanks again for getting me back to New Atlantis. The viewport Welcome, still makes their drinks just the way I remember. <laughs> I barely recognize you. You look a lot better than you did last time we spoke. <laughs> I feel a lot better too. Steadier. More like myself. I'm still a little shaky, but I'm doing much better than the last time we met. Have My engineering drink. skills are no worse for wear. Have you given any more thought to taking me on as an engineer for your crew? Can't do it, dude. Sorry. I think you'd be better off staying in New Atlantis for a while. I see. Well, look me up next time you're in town, will you? Maybe I'll be steady enough to join you by then. Safe travels. And thank you again for everything. Do we get some Daddy. XP for that? We get no XP for that, huh? Where are we at XP-wise? We're almost level 62. So, well, I need to go kill some people. To get my skills back up. Um, let's see, are there other mission boards in here? We can maybe go kill some Terramorphs, which I'm really not into that. Um, I'll tell you what, let's just call it a video here. And I'll find a new mission board off camera. We'll find a place where we can go kill somebody. So, if you're watching, I need to thanks head for over watching. to the Trade Authority later. See you. Some goods. You coming?